Hey guys, what's up? <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm wearing the same jumper as the Brit say that I had on the last time I did an update. And why? Because it's cold and this is my go-to jacket to put on over my t-shirt to keep me warm. Well, not a jacket, a jumper. But it's oversized and it's warm, so that's why I have it on. So I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. Finish spinning and some other things. So we we'll go ahead and get started um, because I'm tired. I'm going to work on it. So, messy bun hat with the flower and a button. Okay. Um, a uh, hat for my little brother down North Carolina, and I finished the hat where I took and I applied the paperback colorway, chroma colorway, which was a, it was a single, and I applied it on my spinning wheel into a three ply using Navajo pliers. Or chain pliers, however you want to call it. Um, and then this brown part here is some Plymouth um, yarn. I think it's like 75% uh, acrylic and 25% wool. But I finished the hat up with that. It's a little bit lighter than the brown that was in the hat, but it, it goes well with those colors. Uh, I had some. Um, I was I had used that uh, yarn club from Mary Maxim, and they had sent me like a whole bunch of freaking um, kitchen stuff, this cloth, whatever they call that stuff, scrub it, scrubby, scrub it, and so I used two of them, and I made some scrub it things for the kitchen, and um, and I got sick of it, so I, when I packed up a box for somebody, I threw a bunch of them in there for them. They can enjoy it too. And then I still have to buy buttons for this because I need one, two, three, four, five buttons, six, maybe seven buttons. And I don't have those many of the same kind of buttons in my, my button menagerie. So I got to buy buttons for this, but it's a cow, a little cow. That the person can button up. It could be for a kid or whatever, but it's and this is some um, Rasta. Who makes that? Malabrigo. Rasta. I was gonna make a hat with it, but I didn't think I have had enough to make a hat with it. So I just went ahead and made this little cow. The other finished object I have is I finished the Bavarian blanket for my future grandchild. So you guys can see that. So now I can go over there with the rest of the stuff for the bee. Okay. And I haven't done any more work on this because I don't have any more of this green yarn, and I don't have any more of this yellow, and I took it with me to Michael's, and I took it with me to AC Moore, and I took it with me to Hobby Lobby, and I just cannot find a, a yellow to match this, and it's not showing up like it's true color. It looks cream, but it's like a buttercup yellow, and I can't find anything to match it, so I'm just doing it just probably use it in a granny square. I'm going to unravel and use it in a granny square. I still haven't done any more work on BMO's um, little throw thing for him to lay on on, on the floor. And I'm almost finished with this uh, star blanket for my friend who's pregnant. So it's almost finished. I just got to finish putting this green in and it's done. And so, okay. Let me move that out. So spinning. These are two ply 
yards. And one is a stain. The red is the red slash burgundy is Romney that I dyed. And you can't really see the colors good. It's not showing up good. But it's like a variegated pink with oranges and a little bit of yellow and stuff. That's 2016 Maryland Sheep and Wool Fiber. It's BFL that I spun. And this is what it looks. Oops. This is what it looks like if I hadn't. If I hadn't broken, if I hadn't used it as a ply. I wish y'all could see the color like as it is, but it's close. So that's what it would have looked like if I had just plied it on itself. That Maryland Sheep and Wool. So this is some more Maryland Sheep and Wool 2016 BFL. Maryland Sheep and Wool 2016 BFL. This is um, British Heritage White Faced Woodland Sheep. Is white. <laughs> Go figure. This is Dragonfly Fibers Polworth Silk in their uh, in her heirloom tomato colorway. This is Hobby Lobby Big. Uh, it's from a bump of the Hobby Lobby Big in the clay colorway. And it came out really nice. It is uh, heavy, heavy lace to light fingering. And then this was the Hobby Lobby. Um, I can't remember the name of the colorway. But it's 100% acrylic, and it was also one of their big yarns, but it was one of those striped ones. And the colors are a little muted because they're a little bit more, they're a lot more vibrant than that. And so, yeah. So, if you are a beginning spinner and you can't afford a bunch of expensive fiber and whatnot, go to your local yarn store. Find one of those so-called big yarns that's actually a bump of roving. It's either going to look like this. And I think there's a something twist is the name of that. Or it's going to look like this. This is the clay. It's nothing but a bump of fiber. And they're selling as yarn. No twist in this at all. And you can spin it and it spins very nice. I guess this fell off, so I guess this is going to be the next one that I spin. This one, I think, is Falkland. Yeah, so that's some Falkland that I dyed in 2014. But, yeah, it made some very, very beautiful yarn. So there's other resources out there if you're not one of those poo-poo people who has to have, I have to have the most finest fiber in the land. If you're not one of those people and you just like spinning for the thrill and the fun of spinning and to see if you can spin it, then go to Hobby Lobby, get some inexpensive yarn, which is actually fiber, and spin it. It's your will, your spindles, your money. You can buy and do whatever the hell you want to do. And those, those snobs can kiss your ass. That's the best way I can say it because I'm not in the best of moods today, so yeah. I do not feel good. I, um, I gotta go to, I gotta go and do blood work on Friday. And then I have to, my, I gotta go into an appointment to get my prescriptions renewed for my insulin and stuff. And then I gotta make an appointment for annual mammogram, annual pap smear, annual everything, knees, all that stuff. And it's like, it's frustrating because it's not gonna get any better. I have the gentle arthritis in my knees. You know it's not gonna get better unless some miracle happens and my knees are healed. It's getting worse every year. Just take your x rays and Give me my artificial joint lubricant and let me go. It's not going to get any better. 
Doctor said, unless I completely blow out one of my knees, I can't have the surgery, a knee replacement surgery, because I am too young. And that's the military for you. Oh, they'll give an athlete a knee replacement or a diver, ligaments, and all this other stuff. But somebody who actually walks and works and does all this other stuff, you, you can't get it unless you're rich and can afford it. You have to wait until your knee, until you're old enough. Because the knee's only going to last 25 to 30 some years. So they want you to be older when you get it. But by the time you're old enough to get it, you're not going to be wanting to enjoy life and go walking and playing basketball and, and gardening. You're not going to be able to enjoy doing the things you want to do anyway because now you're too damn old and everything else done fell apart while you're waiting to get your knees replaced. That's America for you. Ass backwards. So, so this will be my next spin, this Falkland. It's going to be real pretty. And, and I, oh yeah, what am I working, oh, that's what I'm working on. So, I haven't done any more on my socks, but I did start a find your fade. So, I'm on row 27 of the find your fade. So, there is the beginning of my elephant thong. And the yarn I'm using is some, uh, I think it's Schaffmeyer or something. But my friend Teresa Fibercrone gave this to me. It's a lot brighter than what's showing up on screen. It's it's like, because I think I blew a bulb in here. And it's, so it's a little dark in here. And then this is some more of her yarn that she gave me. It's um, It's not that camouflage green. It's more of a woodland, woodsy looking color. And... So, yeah, so that's my second skein, I think. I don't know yet. Because I'm not all that big into fading. I'm finding your fade. I'm more into just, I want to knit it. Because we're like, we're like a little mini knit along. Uh, so, me and some of my friends. So, I just want to knit it to knit it. I don't, I'm not buying on yarn to knit it and none of the other stuff. So, I'm also still working on my kindness shawl. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, which way am I going? Uh, I'm doing the pearl. I'm on the pearl side. So on my kindness shawl, I am on row 52. So I'm on row 52 of the kindness shawl, which I've done three. Yeah, I've done three, three uh, rows of the eyelets. I'm actually enjoying this right here. This, I think, it's annoying the way the spine is set up. Um, I don't know. It's just something about it annoys me. But at least I can tell which side I'm supposed to be on. Because you see how you got the, that yarn over? That yarn over at the bump for when you do the yarn over? It's not focusing. Camera ain't happy today. Well, it ain't focusing. And it's on autofocus. I don't know what the hell the problem is today. And if if my there is better. If my cousin is bothering some of y'all, feel free to unfollow. Feel free to unfollow. That's kind of mood I'm in today. Alright, so so yeah, so yeah, that's the name of that colorway. It was Malabrigo Stitch Red for that cow. Just gotta find buttons for it. I haven't done any more of my broken seed stitch mittens, and I, and I could just knock those out. So I, sh but I've been doing so much stuff for the baby and for pe pregnant people. All these pregnant people, birth control, birth control, and. So I haven't done any more on my socks either. I'm, I'm, I tried them on, so I got to do about, mm, about nine or ten more rows before I can start doing the toe decrease. Because y'all know I got big feet. And so that's it. That's all I've been working on. That's all I've been doing. And I sorted out my yarn with the colored yarn. It's separate from my natural colored yarns. 
and I gotta go through some and I gotta put labels on them. I know what they are and if I don't remember I can always look back on my videos to you guys because those videos actually I'll say what the yarn was. So I'll be watching a bunch of my own videos in a little while. But I want to get everything labeled, kind of get everything organized because I got to make room for the baby in my craft room for when I'm babysitting. And um I want my baby on YouTube and blah, blah, blah. If I'm babysitting, that creature will be wherever I want her to be. Mm. So, because chances are, I'm praying she'll be like all my children were, which were very mellow, quiet babies. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. But chances are, once this, this generation is going to probably be loud, obnoxious, Crying all the time, bald headed, no hair, babies. If that baby ends up being bald headed, then Gregory, I will take you out. So, but I'm hoping she's blue eyed like her dad. And who knows what color her hair is going to be. And who knows what shade of brown, if she's a shade of brown, <laughs> she's going to be. But hey, that's that. Um. Springtime is here again. As soon as we get some days that is sunny when I am not at work. And by the time I get home, it's raining. Or by the time I get home, there's something else got to be done. I will be out in my yard cutting the grass, trimming back the banana plants, cleaning out my garden because it's been laying fallow for, since my dog passed, the year before my dog passed away. Because my knees and I hurt my shoulder, so I wasn't able to lift anything heavy. And then he passed away, so I didn't feel like gardening because it was just depressing that every time I came around the corner, he wasn't there. He wasn't trying to get into my garden to steal my sweet potatoes and stuff. So it was depressing going out into the garden, so I didn't garden for two years. But this year, I want to garden. Keep your fingers crossed. And so because I let it lay fallow... The birds, I have a spruce tree growing in my garden. Where the hell it came from, I don't know. So that's got to be removed. My fig tree has to be pruned back. I'm thinking about moving the fig trees. Hopefully it won't kill it. If it does, oh well. And moving them to the side yard. Maybe I'll start me a little orchard over there. Get me, a couple, get me an apple tree or something, a pear tree, and put over there too. And then these other weird trees have come into the yard from my neighbor's side of the fence. They sent roots out, and the roots are sending up shoots. So now i got to kill all that stuff all over again and get out my garden and pull up all that stuff. So i got to go buy some heavy gloves so I can do some pulling and lifting. And i got to get me some more pruning shears because mine's have about had it. It's just a whole lot of stuff, y'all. A whole lot of stuff. But, yeah. <clears throat> That's all that's going on. And so then I also was trying to figure out what yarn to use for my fade. So I have that one. I have this one. And then I have this one. Like I said, the colors aren't showing up good. But this one has some yellow, brown, and greens. And the brown kind of matches the brown in here. I'm also, I just don't know. I'm not good with colors. My husband is really good with colors. So I'm wondering if I should have started my fade with this one and then just found other brown stuff or either just dyes and stuff. For instance, like if I use that one, then I can spin this and use it with this. So I'm saying <sighs> So that's that, you know. That's that. Um yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. I want to get this finished. I got to test out my wheel. I uh, you know, I use K&J magnetics for when I want magnets for stuff. And I'll come up with ideas to try on stuff. So I decided to get one of their smaller magnets to use on my bobbins to keep my connection between my bobbins. One of my, one of my bobbins are older so the head screw doesn't fit as tight as it as it could on the older bobbins so I got the little magnet to put between it's like the real thin one 
but it, it'll fit over there. But it's a real super strong magnet. And I put that up there so that it'll hold that bobbin in place. It spins great, so I'm going to be testing this with this. But it'll hold the bobbin to keep it from rattling and to keep it from moving forward towards me uh, as I spin. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. Um, so I'll be testing that out. And so, yeah, so I know that was real fast, quicker than a hurry, but that's all that's going on right now. Catching my eye back here. Hold on. Oh, and after I spin that, then I'm going to spin up my other, my last dragonfly fibers that I got from Maryland Sheep and Wool. Or did I get this from, no, I didn't get this from Maryland Sheep and Wool. I got this from the thing in New York, Round it. So I'm going to spin this, and that will be all, boom, that'll be all my Round Bit fiber gone. This is the last fiber I have from Round Bit. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. Hopefully, I'll be able to go through some stuff this year because I really miss hanging out and going to fiber festivals and stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, I haven't been take, doing like I'm supposed to be doing as far as keep, keeping my doctor's appointments on schedules and stuff like that to get my blood work done. So that's my, I got to do that this year. I got to start taking care of me again or because I'm not, I just, I'm tired. I'm just tired. You know, I'm tired. <laughs> it's so much I want to do, so much I need to get done. And it's like the opportunity isn't there. And and I just I just need to worry about me right now and make sure my health is in check because you know I don't I'm not trying to be in the hospital for nobody. So yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna let you guys go. And um take care. Um send positive vibes my way and, and I'll talk to y'all later.